All right, we are back. This is part two of the EJ257 build for the WRX GC8. Uh, if you haven't seen part one, go watch it. It's pretty detailed. It's actually very detailed in literally assembling a motor on a workbench in your backyard. Uh, that's exactly what happened, how this happened. It was pretty cool. Uh, we got everything bolted together. Case bolts went on. Uh, everything was torqued down. Crank assembled, pistons and rods put in, learnt some funny lessons along the way, but that was always going to be the case. So in this episode, the heads are going on, head studs are going in, the cams are going in, cam seal, the whole lot, everything's everything's going on. So uh, yeah, like I said, if you haven't watched part one, go watch it because it literally starts from the absolute bare bones of assembling an EJ. Uh, and by the end of this one, she'll be complete. So anyway, let's jump in. All right, now we've got the rotating assembly dialed in, we can start installing these mental 14mm head studs. These things are big. And as we covered in part one, these are not a factory item and machine work needs to be carried out to get these in. These studs were supplied by Deschel Performance, who if you don't know, is arguably one of the biggest EJ motor specialists in Australia. As the installation instructions reads, the studs are wound into the block until they bottom out and they're just done up hand tight. The torque on these bolts is purely governed by the heads once they're installed. Before we move it onto the engine stand, the last few seals are fitted onto the short block. This includes the rear main seal. Uh, I got into editing this and like if there was one part of this video that you would really like to see, it's probably the heads going on, right? Uh, I got bad news for you. <laughs> so Dean's old man actually set up the GoPro and everything to, to put the heads on. It's, it's my fault, it's not his fault. Uh, when he pressed record, my cameras just turn on and start recording. Uh, instead of doing that, it was already turned on. So he just pressed record and it actually just took a photo. So this is the photo. <laughs> <laughs> Legitimately, that's the only thing I have of the heads going on. Uh, so if it's really something you're dying to see, we've actually done it already on the channel. Uh, on my old EJ257, took it all off, uh, new head gaskets, torqued down the heads, uh, gave them a coat of black paint as well. So uh, if it's something you're dying to see, I'll leave a link in one of these boxes on corners. I'm not really sure where it will go there. Uh, and yeah, if it's, um, any consolation and it's not, a, it's not a self plug, it is a self plug, but I don't care. Uh, if, if it's any consolation to you guys, uh, oh no, look who's back. We back, baby. <laughs> I'm going to have to go, all right? Uh, if it's any consolation to you guys, uh, go to the Built By website, buy whatever you want, and at the checkout, put in the code NEEDHEAD, and it'll knock 30% off everything. So, uh, we have actually just restocked it, and if I haven't got anything in stock that you do want, shoot me a message on Instagram, uh, because there's jumpers, long sleeve shirts, and everything that I still haven't even put on the website. But, anyway, let's jump back in. Alright, so the heads are on and torque down to a lot. Next, we're going to fit the Kelford cams and prepare for final assembly. These cams were suggested by Kelford themselves after Dean was in talks with them and explained it's for a dedicated tarmac rally car. Everything is covered in assembly lube and the cams are then sat in place and given a couple mandatory rocks back and forward. A small line of gasket maker is then laid on the head and ready for the cam seal cover to be installed. After this cover is torqued down to the factory specs, we then cover our cams in this thick lube Kelford supply with their brand new cams. This is a requirement by them. Oh, 
Next up, we fit the upgraded 12 millimeter oil pump, water pump, and the cam seals. There's a $90 cam seal installation tool made for this. Alternatively, a big old socket works just fine. Uh, so that's us, all said and done. Uh, and I know maybe a lot of you Subaru nerds out there or even just anyone that knows anything about motors, uh, you'll say, well, the timing belt and the cams weren't actually put on yet. And there's a few other bits and pieces. Majority of the motor is done and it's complete. Uh, we're actually just waiting, well, we were just waiting uh, on a timing belt kit uh, and a few other pulleys and stuff to arrive. Anybody that's ordered parts in the last 12 months is probably getting really used to saying, ah, oh, it's delayed due to unforeseen circumstances, due to X, Y, Z, uh, due to the C-bomb that we're all very familiar with at the moment. Uh, I'm not even going to actually say the word because if you do on YouTube now, you actually get flagged uh, and it puts all sorts of warnings and shit all over your videos so uh, i'm not even going to go down that rabbit hole um but that's pretty much it that's the motor done finished uh it now just sits on the engine stand while we rip into the car uh so obviously with the lockdown and everything that we're in at the moment that's why this is happening why i'm doing voiceovers and stuff because i'm physically just not allowed we're not allowed to be at people's houses plus i think it's pretty cool it gave me an excuse to do up my studio the way i want to do it up so uh if you guys like this type of video definitely show us some love because it's probably going to be the way that the next few come out just because that's it's just how it has to be plus i can't film at the rate that dean works Seriously, the next few episodes are crazy and there will literally be days and you'll see these in episodes coming up where one episode will finish and the next episode you come in and it's a different car. It's just crazy. So definitely, definitely subscribe or just give it a like or drop us a comment if you like what you see because um, it's getting way crazy believe me so that's about it for this one so we will call it a day uh hoping to get weekly vids out on the gc8 now for the next at least i want to say foreseeable future but realistically months i reckon uh as well as anything else that i can think of that i want to film in between now and then uh i've got a few little episodes that i want to potentially tweak and and film but uh whether time allows or not i don't know but anyway thanks for you guys watching uh we've had some crazy support lately channel has actually kind of really taken off just in the last like month or so um just with people following along so we appreciate all you guys i definitely watch all you guys in the comments dean's always lurking down there so just make sure you give him a comment as well because he just needs his ego just a little pat on the back he appreciates that so anyway we'll see you on the next one bye ever since you shut the door on everything we knew you're too late for love.